Hey Dearly Gang, I'm Wheelie. And I'm Dearly, and welcome to... So, it's actually been a while since we have done a video. We've been really, really busy, and with obviously everything going on, it kind of wasn't the right time to do anything. Yeah, with everything going on in the world, there really hasn't been no chance to actually put anything. No, I've been shielded out. for many, many months. So now we can go out. And now we've got something exciting as well. So this um, is going to be our puppy haul. Yeah. We've actually got a puppy. So finally, finally got a puppy. What? Well, yeah, it's puppy. <laughs> Named Milo is a porky cross between a Yorkshire Terrier and a Pomeranian. So they call them porkies or Uranian or Yorkie Palm. It depends what we call him porky. So we will leave the links in the description box. Go check his Instagram. Yeah, he Milo is the porky. Milo underscore the underscore porky. <laughs> so um, he's nine weeks old at the moment. We've actually had him for three weeks um we had him a bit earlier due uh -huh. to he never was on his mum anyway he was bottle fed but it was better for us to have him earlier and he settled in so much you know so well at the moment he's in his crate asleep yes <laughs> so um today's the puppy haul the next video will be revealing him as the puppy yeah you'll see him on you'll camera you'll probably see him as well so let's start off with the toys we got him so the first one we got him, he hasn't, the only two toys he hasn't used is the two um, that I'm going to show you now. But this one was from Aldi. You just went in to get some. I went shopping. Like you just shopping. went shopping and it was like the, what do you call it? The special buy. And it must have been like a dog slash animal week. So he got this. This was 4 99 and it's a, well, it's a lion. So it's a cute little lion with tennis ball feet so he can tug on those. He's going to have this on Friday when he has his second injections. So that's a cute little... Oh, he'll like this anyway, won't he? He already plays with a tennis ball. He absolutely it loves it. So this was the other one. It was from Pets at Home. It's a rope toy. So it's a monkey with like rope arms and legs. And it's got this... All the toys are squeaking. Yeah, well, yeah, bar, bar that, that one. one, I think, and that one. That one, yeah. Yeah, that but that um, one. this one was meant to be ten pounds, and we got it for eight pounds, didn't we? Yeah. So he's going to use that and then take the tags off. Ooh. We have his doctor puss. He loves that. Crinkle sounding feet and a squeaky again. This was two ninety nine again from Aldi. He really does like this. He runs around and because he's got half terrier, he likes to, well, if we can ever get the video, it, it's amazing. When he does like ranks it, it's so funny. Especially loves his chicken. This did have a squeaky in it. It was three pounds from Morrison's, but I took the uh, squeaky out because it was falling out and I didn't want him to choke on it. So right now it's just a rubber toy. But he loves his uh, chicken. Yeah, he, he rags this everywhere, takes it everywhere. The next one is this rope. This rope was from Pets at Home. It's three pounds. And like I said, it's got half terrier. Yeah, this is amazing for them. Ropes. So this is really good. Especially it's bigger for than him. Teething. Yeah, for the teething. This is bigger than him. Majority of all this is bigger than him because he's tiny. But he loves this anyway. You've got his Kong. That was from a local pet store. It's eight pounds or eight ninety nine. That one's bit probably bigger than because there is a smaller. smaller it is bigger one. than him, but he still manages to pick it up from <laughs> the still, hole. Yeah, and carries it. But he loves chewing on his kong. He loves his kong. Then this one is this was just an old teddy of mine. As you can see, he loves the nose. He's uh, obsessed with this. It's just an old like Christmassy one, and he does like that. Yeah, That's just one that of mine. His bed. Um, then this toy, which is huge, a lot bigger that than him, he bigger. loves it. It was from Pets at Home and it was, f rather than £12, it was £10. And if you can hear, 
just really loud and I'm sorry. And then it's crinkle feet again. He's got crinkle feet. I think it's like crinkly paper. That he, and he does actually them. move that. He runs around with that. That sound. They like chewing on. Yeah. And then this. He loves this. This was £2, £3. I haven't thrown it yet. Just no. rolling it in the garden. At the moment, we're now. in the garden and we use this and he does get it. He's not amazing on his recall yet. He does come kind of back, but he doesn't bring it all the way back. He's no mix old though, so. We've, we've taught him five commands at the moment, but I'm working on fetch. Yeah. So this, this can go 50 metres. The one good thing with this, for me being in a wheelchair, is if it's on the floor, so if it's like, you know, on the floor, rather than, because bending is hard, I literally just do that and it's easier for me as well, isn't it? Yeah, you'll have to show them when we, uh, yeah. when you film him in the next video, she'll show you that this is easy. Um, can't wait for, to go and walks, but we can't go until a week on Friday. So can't gotta, until he's had the second injection yeah. in his system and he's still got to fit the harness. Cause Which he's we'll show you. <laughs> still not fitting his harness. He's still a bit small. <laughs> yeah. This bottle was from... Aldi two ninety nine or no three ninety nine this was. You can clip it onto your belt, onto my bag, which when we go for walks, you can clip it onto the lead, whichever you do. Basically he's been on car journeys. He's been on car journeys and he uses this so it flips out, pop that, water comes out, and he does really like this and he does use it too. So that was a really, really good thing. That was from the special buy the same day he brought the uh, few All toys. This stuff was the same day apart from a few items to be fair. Yeah. Um, this is his bowl, so got the, two, got um, water he's bowl. got his water bowl, which um, that will be on the next clip because I've actually recorded yeah. that already, so you will see that. And then they are the both, all of them are like croc, so all our animals are, yeah, croc all of the them the rabbits, Mia, and Milo. So this is by Mason Cash. These were on sale for four pounds. I think there's oh, that full price at the time I bought them. Was it that. full price? I thought there was meant to be six pound, and we're going for four. I don't know. But I, I think know there were whatever there was, but this that is. That was one of the kinds. There weren't another one. As I you can see. see, it's got top dog. It's got cute little dogs, and inside it's got that it's was a Dalmatian. The last one got top dog. Available. Amazing cash. So this is his food. So he. He's actually on a dry food, which we'll show you in a bit, but that's what goes in here. And then, I'll go into this one. This brush was from Pound Stretchers. My mum and dad actually went in we there. We couldn't find a brush we from couldn't find them. shop that was out. Yeah, everywhere was out. So what we did is we've got this. This was only 99 pence. It's not going to be like a forever one. It's just at the moment he's so small and his... Oh. <laughs> He's so small. <laughs> That's a... I don't worry about it. Um, oh. his, because he's so small and his coat's like quite short at the moment. Um, we got this. It's a hard bristle and then there's like a soft bristle there. And then what we'll do is we'll go into beds. So he's got three beds. You will see the you one of the too beds. Spoiled. Yeah, I know. Yeah, crazy dog people. Um, this bed Sean got from Aldi. As the lovely model here is holding it up. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, this doesn't come out, but it, it is machine washable. So soft and he loves this for car journeys. It's so, brilliant to see him in car journey. He's so small as well. So he, it's quite yeah, cozy. Yeah, I've got him a seat belt as well. So even though he doesn't fit We will show harness, that in a minute. I still have him in a harness when he's on the car journey and still have him to the seat belt. So he's still safe. Yeah. So this is the next bed. So this one's a lot bigger. This was from Pound Stretchers. That that bed down there was I think eight or ten pounds. This one was fourteen ninety nine. Show him. Well, show is them. That yeah. So this one's a lot bigger. He's only tiny, so he can literally go in this little corner. But this is super soft. It's crushed this velvet. Is more for the sofa we leave To be on honest, because our theme dinner. is crushed velvet, greys and stuff like that. He likes that. So that was from Pound Stretchers. And then this blanket was from Pound Stretchers. We use, we leave this in here with some toys all the time on the sofa. So that is got some bones and some paws. That was two ninety nine as well. All the prices that we've spent really on stuff priced. have been very good price. 
We've never ever managed that uh, to find anything that was expensive. No, this is animal animalology. It's called Puppy Love. It's the puppy shampoo. And um, he has already had a shower already. Yeah, he has. He had one last week. Um, and he was perfectly fine. This was £5.50 from Pets at Home. Yes, you can buy a bigger one, but this, it does smell amazing. Oh, well, it actually does. It, it makes him smell so nice. Do you want to munch on him all day? Puppy love. This is his super cute pony. How much should we pay for that? Five. Five fifty. Yeah. Five fifty. This is his so cute harness. It's a Wayne race. It's a tweed. Show them close. This is that is extra bar. extra small. This yeah, is. this is extra extra small, and that's on the smallest setting of the extra extra small. And as well. still a bit it's big. Still. Look, that goes with his breastbone. So his dicky bone. His head goes above the dicky bone. It's so so cute, and it's got a double D ring as well. So. So yeah, harnesses are better for dogs. Especially that size as well because the neck is I mean in better. general every dog a harness is better because it's more controllable. Yeah. As but the especially owner, with and it's his... safer for the dog. Yeah. Especially with his size though, because he's so tiny, obviously you know, his neck and things like that. So we've got that. This and is then... almost soon to fit him, even though we we are keeping it on him, but I have to like Oh, it's slightly, yeah. I have to tie it a bit more there so it's more secure and then loop it back through in a way just for the time being. And once it gets back to it properly, it'll be done for you. So this here is his little... Um, again. Again, it's still on the smallest We're setting. Closed. It's tiny. It's actually a bones and these are reflecting. Also, I'll just hold that. This is his tag, so it's blue, and then it's and got the other a chrome. Side we have got it the other in. side, other side, the other side has actually got our details in. For us. pets at home, did suggest. In fact, they do suggest now not to put the name. We was going to put his name on the front because we didn't know, but they say due to recall situations and stuff like that, if he did get out, which is practically impossible, but if he did, um. You know, and if he did come to go to his name, obviously, we just wouldn't want that. So these, all of the um, the collar and also the harness, they do go larger as well. So as he grows, so it actually grows. This, and these are the small ones. These are small ones. These can go pretty large, to be fair. Yeah. But even at the smallest possible, he still don't... He, Still a bit big for it. It's still a bit big for him. Yeah. <laughs> it's... I mean, even at the smallest. Yeah, it's still a bit. So this one is his seat belt. It was for oh sorry, the um about the pricings. The harness was twelve pounds, the collar was four pounds, and then the to have that engraved and the tag thing was only six pounds. This was four pounds as well. It's actually the, well, it's the seat belt, it's a restraint. So all you do is you've got a clip here, that clips onto the harness, and then you've got three choices to it's go into your seat belt. Universal, depending on what universal. type of car you've got. By law, you do have to have that, don't you, for insurance purposes, so. Yeah, you can't actually take a dog in the car unless it's got its own seat belt. Yeah. This is... It's actually a new law, as far as I know. Yeah. This is his lead. Now, this one is a flexi one made in Germany. It's actually made for a large dog. And the reason why we got this one is because Sean tried the puppy one, but it was like that big. And with his big my man hands, too big. It, yeah, it just wouldn't. See, this one's perfect. Fits my hand. The other one was fine for me, but not for him. So, perfect um, flexi, yeah. That was made in Germany as well. This one was 17 or 18 pounds. It wasn't the cheapest, was it? It wasn't the cheapest, but we wanted something a little bit more sturdy, well, didn't we? Well, you get what you pay for. Yeah, so we paid a bit more for that, which we can't wait to take him out for a walk. No. Um, and then this was, I think, £2. It goes on his collar, oh. and it's like a little, like, stretchy... It's a little bow. Yeah. <laughs> we can't wait for him to actually uh, use it. So, that's that. Let's go on to, should we go on to the treats? 
a good job we paid for this company because the I read about that. Yeah, the, the portion of proceeds yeah. from the sale of this product will go towards yeah. the less fortunate dogs. Yeah, that one's really good. That guys. helps. That helps other. These are from Aldi as well. The wag treats, the training. You can buy them in other stores. I just happened to pick yeah, them yeah, up in Aldi. The only reason, I mean, these were five hundred grams. There was two ninety nine each. Normally about six pounds each. So we saved some money. These ones are for dogs eight weeks old plus. So he wasn't allowed these until obviously he was eight weeks old. He's now just over nine weeks. Nine weeks and two days to be precise. But you know he's allowed to eat the, these and they're Which receivable as well. He loves them. Oh my days. He absolutely loves these. Beef. Yep, the beef. Oh, tell what's in that? There's there's a few. What is it? Beef, chicken, and lamb. Yeah, and the mini bone like the in the bone shape and then we break them so this one is turkey and rice they're all they're soft, like a love heart they're all soft chews they're not yeah, hard chews no they're not hard they're just soft treats that's all and then on to the food when we got him he was always on royal canning puppy mini so this yes. was 12.99 for a two kilo we have started introducing we him have to actually stuff. yeah introducing him so he has a little bit of these in a bowl Every time he has a feed, he has a little bit of that mixed with some of this. This is the James Well Beloved Turkey and Rice. It's the puppy one. These are actually really nice. These ones are normally, I think, £10. Pets at Home, the day I brought them, was doing them for eight. But because I've got the VIP card and I've got the app on my phone, so if any of you guys have got it up until, I think it's middle and September, you do, and you've got a puppy, you get like so much um, percent off and stuff like that. So I got these for actually half price, so I only pay £4. So amazing, two kilo again. The reason why we changed from this uh, back to this oh, we... is because mostly this uh, doesn't say what's in it, does it really? It doesn't say what, like, no, it doesn't. But at the same time, though, everyone to their own, but we've started doing them on different foods because. I want him to try different flavours and things like that. He's a puppy that. and you want to start him into different foods now. So that way... When he gets older. As he grows older, he doesn't have to be just a one type of food. Mm. Like he's had that James Wall below. He's had Wayne Rice. He tried a few bits of Wayne, Wayne yeah, Rice. Which he eats as well. Raw which canning. We yeah. We've weaned him into different foods. So that way he's... he's and he's, it's not... not Nothing wrong with him, he's doing fine, he's doing no, him in properly. Toilet Same with his treats and his toiletries and that. So that way it keeps him with different foods. We've also tried him on proper cooked chicken. Yeah. Just fresh plain, plain. cooked chicken. Plain chicken. And he no likes problem. That. Only a plain likes turkey. Some. He likes and you that can too. try little him on bits, different the little queen. bits that they can have to start them now. So next up we have the puppy pads. Of the puppy pads? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> With these puppy pads, I actually used these already. So it wasn't before I had these before the puppy. I used these puppy pads for my bunny rabbits, which are actually better. It's got like sticky labels, don't they? To stick yeah, they it down. stick them to the floor or whatever you want, but they're not um, not strong adhesive. It's just loose, so it'll hold in place to stop it from sliding somewhere. But then, at the same time, you can pull it back up and there'll be no sticky residue left over. But I use these for my, my bunny rabbits. I put them in their litter tray, put their litter on top and their hay, and they've used them for years. So these are training These are ones. now being used for Milo as well. They so are classed as training, so they're not like... For us. Yeah, they are classed as training, which, to be honest, we are training, so it's See, fine. See, Milo at the moment is in training. He's only got one puppy pad in his crate. He's actually surpassed the stage of having to have the... Because we saw him from the age of two weeks onwards and we already started with him then from with the wherever where we're going from. He already started getting used to a crate train, so he already has his crate that he can pee in. But I already started working on him outside in the garden and majority of his elimination, as they yeah. call it, is outside. I just have to work on getting the call to potty or something like that so that way he knows that that's the word and he'll do it then yeah because as puppies they don't have control of their bladders 
They're so tiny. I mean, he's so tiny. It's the same as us humans. Yeah. We don't control our bladders at a young age. We constantly wee. And when they go out and they pee and it looks like they've done a big pee, it turns out they've done a big pee, but they haven't done it all in one go. So they could still come back in the house and okay, they'll still pee inside. And that's only just generally because they haven't cleared it out all in one go. But that that's takes the time with training him to learn them to go outside. And at the same time as they get older, that will all change. These ones are, just to say, these are from Pets at Home. They are called Just for Puppy. There is a hundred in these and we buy the biggest pack. Um, they're twelve ninety nine. yeah. You can, you can buy like a smaller one. You but can we buy just cheaper buy, brands. We you just can. prefer these. Well, I these find that these better. absorb the smell. They're not too thick, they're not too thin, but they absorb yeah. the smell and absorb the wee. And they can get a lot of pee on them. And I don't just mean puppy pee. I mean, I've had my bunnies and bunnies pee a lot. And the bunnies don't even manage to saturate them and I swap that. I change them every day. So once a day, their pads completely run through then. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. Whereas with a puppy, can't even get to that stage. No. And these are last but not least. Um, these are his clothing. Oh, God. So Sean went into the range. The, to be honest, these are between one ninety nine and the dearest was four pound, uh, five forty nine. They're cheap clothing. This is not like it's the like... Five forty four forty nine. Oh, that's it, sorry. Yeah, um these are not like everyday one that was five forty nine. No, sure. these are like an not an everyday type of thing. It's not like constant wearing. It's just like, you know If we go out when we finally get to walk and, and when he finally gets like to that. walk, it'll start to be getting colder weather here in England. Yes. As it will. And I know before people say, Oh, it's a dog at the end of the day, we, we wanna keep have him children, warm. That's how I always yeah, see. and we wanna keep him warm, so that's just our opinion. Everyone's got their own opinion, and that's but all, just us. all our animals are all our the, children. They're all, yeah, they're like our babies, so that's, that's just we the way it is. We haven't got no other no. option. So this one has got if you're happy and you know it, lift your leg. It's like a little baby. It's just it's if so it's cute. really cold. These in are the extra house, small. Or it's really cold. I and if you don't it want it on, he just takes it off. It's it's not like he's got to wear it. So that one's really cute for his Instagram. Yeah. He'll love You'll yes. see these popping up. Um this one's who let uh, sorry, who let the dogs out? It's got a little hood and it's a little t shirt on the back. There'll be so many people asking where to get this stuff from. The range, definitely go. Um this one uh, is called well it's got security on. This is one of Sean's favourites. The These house. are still a bit too big for him at the moment, but again, they're all extra small. Yeah, we're working on them. Obedience school dropout. Some of these are good because they've got where you can put the harness on and then this on top of the harness. This is nice. So mm -hmm. it, it can use that too. This one is Sean. Sean calls it like a Call of Duty. Type it's got to be the Call of Duty. Search one. and destroy. It was one ninety nine. It's a little camouflage army top. Yeah. This one you can you can walk out in because it's got we a little hole for harness. We definitely wanted to get the raincoat. This is I a little raincoat with gets little really, dogs really on. Really heavy rain. Yes. And I've got it available to keep him nice and dry. This one is like well, it's like kind of like a jacket type thing, isn't it? It's just like that. It's so cute. It's got pockets in it, hasn't it? I think so. All the other fake pockets. This one has got a detachable hood. It's got a little zip as well, so you can put some, um, you know, Carries, doggies, poo bags. Poopy packs. <laughs> poopy bags. Or whatever it's called, doggy um, bags. So what do you do call that? Them? Yeah. Poo bags? Yeah, something like that. So it's got that. These are like Velcro as well, so they're really, really good. What are you meant to call these? And then he has wore this. It's still a little bit big, but he does actually like this. And this is his little reindeer winter one. Again, he can put his harness through it as well. It's the one good thing about these. So cute. Yeah, it looks it's like a little Eskimo, 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 but, yeah, well. Eskimo style. You know, honestly, he's not much bigger than my arm, I'd say. Not much bigger than the, the thickness of my arm. Yeah. He's only little as a little boy. Oh. So, um, yeah, so that's the clothing we got in that's at the moment. Answer. We will look for more. We like looking. 
So what I'm going to do is I'll put the clip on now of his crate and you will see a sneak peek of him as well. So um, I'll show you that now. So here is the star of the show. So Milo in his crate. This was from Pets at Home. It was £42. It's really, really good size inside. That's his water bowl. This on top was from Pound Stretchers and it was £5.99. Inside, there's little Milo. The bed is actually from Pets at Home. That was £12. The inside like cushion bit, that comes out as well, so you can wash that. The blanket was from the people we brought him from. Um, it's actually got his mum's smell on, so that was really nice, and he still uses the blanket. Then in the back, that is a lion, it's squeaky, that was £4 from Pets at Home. And then the monkey with rope legs, and that's squeaky too, that was from Pound Stretchers, and my parents got that as well. So he actually does like this, and he does sleep in there too. He's just having a nap, because that's what puppies do. So, I hope you like the puppy haul. If you have, smash that thumbs up button. Leave a like rating. Let us know if you want to see more of these videos or whatever we're talking about. Make sure well. your notifications are turned on. Yeah, first you've got to click the subscribe button. Subscribe mm -hmm. to the channel and then turn the notification bell on. Yeah. By doing that, that lets you get notified when the next videos go up and go live. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Yeah, also check out my channel and also Sean's channel too. Yeah, all the links are in the description yeah. box below. But most of all, go... What did I do on Instagram because I don't use it much? Go click... Is it subscribe Just go to follow. Milo. Follow Milo's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not very uh, switched on with Instagram. Yeah, no, go, I'm, go I'm show off. him some love, definitely. Go, and go she show can him clearly some tell love. you'll see my Instagram's a bit dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I hope you like this uh, video. Stay tuned for another video. Yes, so, stay tuned yeah. for the next video because in the next video you will see Milo the Porky. So we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.